bought speakers and and uh, then I got turned on the screens yeah. and lights and you know I yeah. started doing all that stuff, man. And I just believe in giving my fans, the people that come to the show, the greatest experience. I want them to leave saying, man, that was a badass show that I went to. Mm-hmm. And to be proud. And they're going to tell other people, like you're saying. Yeah. And that's what we need. We need more of that. And then you got you got to have a crew to be putting oh, all that together, bro. I have 15 guys, man. <laughs> Are you serious, bro? 15 men. <laughs> man. We take off on the road. Most have, bands, the, 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 the musicians that's, are the roadies. That's why it's hard <laughs> to just pick up and go play in the valley or go play. You know, yeah. this is the business, man. Yeah. So, you know, that's what people don't understand. They, oh, well, come play. We're having a benefit. You know, something, this and that. But... I still have 14 other guys that uh-huh. I can't tell them, hey, man, we're going to go play it to benefit. You're not getting paid. Exactly. What the hill? Yeah. They're not going to go. Uh-huh. They don't want to do that shit. You're not going to have a band. You're not going to have a business. Yeah. So I got to take care of my guys, man. And yeah. I have a bus driver, a truck driver, uh-huh. of six-man crew. Yeah. I have seven seven guys on stage. Yeah. So it's a big production. Man. And, man, and then a lot of the money that comes in, it just goes right back in, too. And then you got to still pay your band. Yeah, brother. Is your dad... Uh, what What's your dad up to now, bro? Man, my dad is, he actually manages me. That's what so I was going to ask. he's the one that, that takes care of everything, man. I'm man. blessed to have my dad with me. He's, a, he's the man. Abraham Quintanilla of you, man. Like, uh, man like he's the I, one that runs a show with you. You know what? I'm not going to say that because I don't know them. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know him. I don't know how it works. But yeah, but like, I, I, meant, I meant like, you know, the father managing the yeah. daughter, the father managing yeah. the son, you yeah, know, man. In, that, in that aspect. Yeah. That's awesome. And who else is there? Anybody else involved in it? Yeah, brother. Just my, my brother sings with me, my brother Sergio. Uh, my dad is my manager. And then the rest of my guys, man, they're just scattered from all over. Mm-hmm. My guys are from San Antonio, Austin, uh, Seguin. I used to have my, my crew used to be from Monterrey. Mm-hmm. A lot of my crew, but, you know, shit started happening with the whole, the whole uh, U.S. thing. Yeah, so yeah. We had to, the yeah, papeles the and all yeah, that, man. the documentation. Tough, man. And all that. Yeah. They're traveling every week. Have you gone to Mexico to perform? I haven't, brother. I Dude, haven't. I have Monterrey, offered, man, but bro. I know. Yeah. Uh, you'd probably I'm make gonna the go out there with over there, bro. I'm going to go out there with Chewy. Well, it's, it's starting to grow, so we're going to come yeah. this way and continue to go. Mexico City and yeah, uh, Monterrey. All That's that why area. I'm working with Bob, man. Yeah. So we're changing the sound and changing the game, and, and hopefully people catch on and... and uh, you know, we're just here making good music, man. A lot of people, Babo is a producer that pretty much was behind the sound of the Cumbia Kings and the production mm-hmm. of the Cumbia Kings. Yeah. A, Cumbia Kings became one of the biggest bands in the nation and in Mexico internationally. Mm-hmm. And uh, Babo uh, was basically the producer behind a lot of the music. Yeah, and now man. he's producing a lot of other bands. He's been living in Spain and Miami, and now he's mm-hmm. here in South Texas. And he's got you, man, and he's yeah. uh, working with you, man. It's yeah, awesome. Some bro. new stuff, man. It's gonna be sick. It is. It's bro. gonna be dope, man. When's yeah. it coming out, man? Hopefully in about a month. Uh-huh. Hopefully in about a month. Like I'm saying, we're finishing up the live CD, and then I'm doing two bonus tracks. Yeah. On the album, and they're gonna be the singles. We're gonna be shooting videos and that. Too. So you still call them CDs or what, man? I mean, I don't know what to call them. <laughs> what do you call them? Because uh, man, you know, when you started, it was CDs. It was a CD, but man. now it's like yeah. that's obsolete. Yeah, bro. like even my fans, man, like they don't buy CDs. Mm-mm. They don't. They they stream mm-hmm. YouTube, whatever it is. And the people that listen to my music, uh, it's all downloading, man. Or, do you or write songs? Stream. I do. I do write my music. And, and not all my songs, but you know, just when when I have time, I'll write. You know, a lot of times, man, I'm I'm working every week. Like mm-hmm. I'm recording now. Uh, I'm playing on the weekend. Yeah. I'll be back home. We take off again. So you know, I get songs from different people as well. You know. Yeah. I, you know, as far as your well. songwriting and your uh, and your publish, how do you do the publishing yeah. and all that stuff? Yeah, I have my own publishing. Uh, I, uh, and then, is there still royalties that come hell in? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? With the with the streaming, Brother, I'm independent. Yeah. So you know, a lot of a lot of this this is where a lot of uh, a lot of artists I don't want to say get fucked, but a lot of artists get fucked mm-hmm. because they're under major labels or they're under smaller labels. And they got the 360 deals, right? Well, they have the 360 uh-huh. deals. So the audience, if you don't know what a 360 deal is. It's when uh, the label signs you and they take money from your merchandise, from your shows, from your music, from anything you touch, they're taking money from. Mm-hmm. So that's what's happening now. Yeah. So that's why I've remained independent. So whatever I get, I get 100%. My shows, my merchandise, my streaming, everything. Mm-hmm. So. Um, and how do you upload all the streaming, all your songs? Do you have like, a, do you go through yeah, TuneCore? You, you just go through? go through different services. Okay. Right? Uh-huh. Different people. You, you just search online. And you have find... somebody handling that. You yeah. Don't I have, have, yeah. Uh, uh-huh. and, and it's like self-contained. You don't have a label doing everything that or management self, company. Everything is You're... self-contained, grassroots. Yeah, dude. I do it all, man. 
It's crazy. That's that's the. Um, it's that's, like you, how you edit all your own stuff. Yeah, you, you shoot yeah. your own videos. You perform. You do everything. That's yeah. what I do. Yeah. So. And, and with the internet and all that, yeah, man. I mean, you can do your own marketing. You can be in charge of and in control of your your art, your your publishing, exactly. your music, and. Man, that's awesome, bro. Yeah, that's really cool, dude. So what are we looking at, man? How I many are you going to go for it the rest of, your, you know, another man, 20, know, 30, brother. 40 years? Where are you going to be in 10 years, bro? I think about <laughs> this all the time, man. That's, 32. That's, you know what? Time goes like you know that, what, man? bro. That's the hard part of, of, about growing up, man. And a lot of times people think that, you know, uh, well, AJ or, you know, just people that know me, people that come to the show, you know, the fans are always has a great life, he's traveling, he's playing. I wish I could do that. And it's, it's great, don't get me wrong, I love it. I love this shit. But there's also a, a part of me too, like, you know, I think too, like, man, I wanna have kids one day. I wanna, I wanna settle down, I wanna have a family. But I, you know, I'm the type of person that like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to be on the road and have a family. So I don't wanna do that right now. So I, I gotta kill it as much as I can. And that's why I tell my, my friends and family, you know, I'm gonna do this till I'm 40 mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna retire. I'm gonna retire from from being on stage and performing. Right. It's easier said than I know, done. Bro. I know. I know. <laughs> You'll just you know. end up buying another bus for your family. You're probably right, brother. You're probably right. Man. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, so, if, I mean, if you're still, you know, right now, I mean, the way it is, man. I mean, it's like it's only growing. Man. Yeah. Thanks to God, brother, it's growing and it's taking off, man. And I'm so blessed. You know, I, I think about this all the time. I, you know, I thank God every day. I don't deserve this, but He continues to to provide for me always mm. and open new doors and new opportunities man and yeah. it's, you know it's crazy that I'm that we're talking again it's been years yeah and then how everything is taken off for me again and great things are happening for you and yeah no man congratulations and, and, on everything and I, I can tell that you you know you come from a well-rooted family and yeah, you know bro. and you've got mm -hmm. a good head on your shoulders you went through school you're athletic so you know the discipline that yeah. goes with you know all that and and uh, it looks like you're playing your cards right because there aren't many artists that are in your situation where they can be able to think about investing into a trader of equipment. And, and, and you, you saw that, you have that vision, you know, that, you know what, I'm going to put it on, you know. Yeah. I'm not going to let nobody put it on for me. I'm going to put it on, man. Yeah, you got to take control of your situation. Yeah. And, and not just anybody can do that, bro. I mean, you have to have the right mindset for it. And... Uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of, uh, you, you know, this industry, you know, comes with its problems as well. Yeah. What, 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 uh, what, what kind of like, kind of, you know, irks you about the industry and stuff, man? Do you have any, man, I think any the big, pet the big, peeves? Well, the, there's a lot of things, man. You know, there's, yeah. you know, but like the major anything. one, what's the, what the, what's the major thing is like, we don't get along. Mm -hmm. We don't work together. Okay. Like every day I tell a lot of people all the time, our industry, regardless of what you're talking about. So for example, we'll say Tejano, mm -hmm. right? The Hano is getting smaller and smaller every day. Mm -hmm. People don't want to say that. People, you know, especially people that are DJs or you know, they're promoters or TV. They'll tell you, "Oh no, it's great." And it's, it's this the old and that. school dudes. Come man. on, bro. Like I'm everywhere. Uh -huh. I'm everywhere. You I'm in. It. I'm in the valley today. Tomorrow I'll be in Lubbock or Amarillo, and then I'll be in El Paso, or then I'll be in Dallas or Houston. I see everything. We know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Ask the ask the dudes that know what's going on. We know what's happening. And every day it's shrinking. It's shrinking. And I, I think a big, a big reason for that is we don't want to work together anymore. Like, you know, everybody thinks they're somebody. Everybody mm -hmm. still thinks they're a star. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of these older Tejano artists that they still think they're stars. Yeah. But that shit's over, man. Yeah, like, it's over. It's like we're starting over. Yeah. You know, even, even though I've, I've uh, you know, thanks to God, I've accumulated all these, these things, this stuff, this bus, this truck, and... You know, you still got to remain humble, man. You know, like I tell Chewy, I tell Bob, like, I'm nobody, man. I'm nobody. I just love to make music and let's, let's do great things and continue to work. And I think if, if a lot of other Tejano, Chicano, Mexicano artists, if we work together, you know, it's like if you look at reggaeton. If you look at reggaeton, you got Osuna, you got J Balvin, you got Bad Bun, you got Nicky Jam. Everybody's on everybody's song. They're working together. Everybody's working together. And this shit is blowing up even bigger and bigger mm. and bigger. They're not saying, nah, man, fuck you. I'm not going to work with you. I'm doing my shit over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Strength like, in numbers. Yeah, brother. Like, yeah. why can't we work together? Yeah. Because I'm young and you've been doing this for 30 years. Yeah. Who cares? I still pull more people than you. Yeah.
You know what I mean? I, it doesn't matter. You know? But the, the Tejano formula has like, it, it never really changed, you know. It's, it's got the same beat. The lyrics are very simple. Yeah. I was talking with Chris Perez and we were talking about lyrically how Pira Studio changed the entire dynamic of yeah. Selena with the lyrics that yeah. he was bringing in with his songs. You know, they were more international, yeah. the lyrics. And that's basically, that was the secret weapon that Selena, uh, you know, picked up and, uh, you know, uh, Pete contributed yeah. to the band, you know. And um, and I don't see any younger bands, uh, you know, coming in or young artists that are willing to go that route to try that formula. Everybody wants to push the envelope just like you, you know, and because you met guys like Stevan Jordan, you know, yeah, man, and guys you know, like that, yeah. that you don't want to stay stagnant playing the same, because yeah. Stevan, he had his regular compas with his uh, uh, conjunto songs, mm -hmm. but then he'd do a blues tune, yeah. and then he'd do a jazz song, and then yeah. he'd do a, you know, uh, uh, like a salsa song, you know, yeah, so he right, was brother. putting it in everything. He was bro. a monster. Yeah. yeah, it sounded like your first CD, bro. Yeah, brother, exactly, exactly. <laughs> no. Real, yeah, yeah bro. Truth, and you know what? That's yeah. probably what influenced your CD, bro. Yeah, you want to? You? I mean, it was Steve Jordan, bro. Yeah, it's true. That's why I said that guy changed my life. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And the way I saw music, the way I wanted to play my instrument, you know, was Esteban Jordan, man. All right. You know. Yeah, well, bro. hey, man, make sure to go to uh, all his platforms. Yeah. You're on social media. You gotta check me out. If you got an Instagram, hit me up on Instagram. Send me a DM, tell them to send me a picture. Do you get pictures on Instagram? Uh, I think so, oh, man. man. I got to check yeah. on that, man. I get DMs. If you're in the Valley, if you're watching, send me. If you're anywhere, I was talking to, to Rock and Roll, and I was telling them I had friends from Atlanta. We met in Florida, and they were telling me they were watching his show. Hashtag PVT, Daddy. Hashtag PVT. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram. Hit me up on Facebook, AJ Castillo, 40, uh, Twitter, YouTube. If you're, if you're watching this, you, you know Rock and Roll, but you don't know who this kid is, go to YouTube, search my name, AJ Castillo. And uh, hit me up, man. Hopefully, we'll come to the Valley, ajcastillo.com. And we'll put all the links right here on the bottom in the description. Mm -hmm. We'll put all the links so you could just click on it and go straight to his platforms, man. AJ, wish you the hey, best. Thank We're you, We're going to be looking forward to your new music. I'm very excited to hear it. And, of course, the live. I mean, I got to hear the live album yeah, because yeah. that's where we hear the energy coming out. Yeah. That's yeah, where, yeah. you know, that's, I mean, your your live shows is probably some of the, you know, the, the spectacles of, mm -hmm. you know, of the energy that yeah, AJ brother. Castillo brings, man. 32-year-old yeah. AJ Castillo, Don't man. Don't say my age, man. I'm, <laughs> hey, bro. I'll tell people I'm 26 still. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, I'm going to be 26 as long as I can, man. Uh, yeah. Every yeah. year I'm getting younger like you. That's me, bro. You Hell yeah. AJ Castillo, hashtag PVT.